Gary Bowyer's boys take on Tony Mowbray's men at Ewood Park. Blackburn Rovers against Blackpool. Talk about that match and more on today's show. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview. This time counting down to the latest cup final for Blackburn Rovers. Ten to go. When Blackburn take on Blackpool at Ewood Park. We'll talk about that match in just one second. But if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Keep your bang out to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Let's take a look at the match in a little bit more detail. Takes place Saturday the 10th of March uh, at Ewood Park. Last season, Blackpool were in League 2 when they finished 7th. Get themselves promoted through the back door of the playoffs. And the current top goal scorer is Kyle Vassell with 9 goals. And the man pulling all the strings. It's the Messiah. It's Gary Bowyer, that's right, the saviour of Blackburn Rovers. He did manage to steady the ship uh, comprehensively after the horrific appointment and all that mess that Steve Keane uh, brought upon us. Over the years, the two sides have met 59 times, and would you believe it, it's so close, Blackburn Rovers just edge it 22 wins to 21. And the two sides have drawn 16 times in all competitions. Over the last five fixtures at Ewood Park, Blackpool have yet to pick up a win. The best result for them has been a draw, obviously. The last fixture between these two sides at Ewood Park was last season uh, in the FA Cup where Blackburn Rose won 2-0. Uh, right at the top of the shop there was a 2-2 draw. That was way back in the Premier League, 19th of March, 2011. So it's a nice little run Blackburn have over Blackpool. Can it continue? On Saturday, let's hope so. Let's take a look at the starting eleven for this match for Blackburn Rovers. I've gone Raya in goal, Nayimbi, Lenahan, Mulgrew and Bell. Evans and Smallwood in those defensive midfield slots. And a three-man attacking uh, midfield set of Bennett, Dak and Armstrong. With the man, the myth, the legend, Danny Graham leading the line. Let's take a look at the statistics. Danny Graham tops the pops with 15 goals. In fact, he's joint top with Bradley Dak, who's also got 15 goals. Uh, chasing not far behind them, only three goals, is Charlie Mulgrew. And in there in fourth place is uh, Dominic Samuel with uh, eight goals. Into the discipline, uh, Richard Small's got nine yellows, Eddie Bennett's got eight, uh, Corey Evans's got six, and Derek Williams also has six. As for the, the Reds, Elliot Bennett has two, Dominic Samuel has one, and Lewis Travis also has one. As for the last five fixtures for Black Monroe, they look like this. Uh, obviously, that big one last weekend, last Sunday, Black Monroe taking on Wigan, ended up being 2-2, throwing away a two-goal lead, only to salvage a point. Uh, that is still leaving a bit of taste in my mouth, but the less said about that match, the better. Moving forward, uh, or backwards, should I say, 27th of February, AFC Wimbledon nil, Blackburn Rovers 3. That was a, a comprehensive performance by Blackburn, one of the better performances in the last few fixtures. Before that, 24th of February, Rovers beat Walsall at their gaff, all the way back under the lights, uh, Monday, 19th of February, Rovers picking up a 2-0 victory up against the very stubborn Berry side. And all the way back, Valentine's Eve, Tuesday, 13th of February, Rovers picking up a 2-1 win away at Fratton Park. As for our visitors, GB's boys, this is how I think they'll line up. Lumley and Goal, Mella, Tilt, Robertson, Turton, Ryan, Longstaff, Daniel, Solomon Atabor, Delfonso, and Ganundle. I probably butchered that name. I do apologise. Let's take a look at the statistics. Vassell tops the pops with nine goals. Longstaff there with seven. Phyllis Kirk has got six. Mella has got six. As for the discipline, Tilt has eight. Yellows, Ryan has seven. Daniel has seven. And Mella has four. Well, well, well. That's bizarre. That's bizarre. It's a little private joke in my brain. No reds thus far for Blackpool. Will that change on uh, a very feisty Northwest Derby day at Ewood Park on Saturday? Who knows? As for the last five games for Blackpool, they look like this. Last time out, they took on Portsmouth at Fratton Park and they won 2-0 before holding Peterborough at Bloomfield Road 1-1. All the way back on the 13th of February, they took on uh, Wigan Athletic at their place and they won 2-0. It's an impressive result that all the way back in the 10th of February, they took on Warsaw and they drew 2-2. And all the way back to the 3rd of Feb, they took on Berry. So they're going into the game uh, against Blackburn on a five-game unbeaten run, at least. In fact, let's take a look at the form a little bit uh, clearer. Now, this is the last eight matches at home. Rovers are third in the form table behind Plymouth and Rotherham. As for the away matches... Blackpool currently find themselves eighth in the table. So, well, if those form books are something to go by, it could be actually a tense affair. But 
Ultimately, I feel Rovers should come away with three points and continue their uh, top two promotion push. As for the rest of the fixtures this weekend, they look like this. Some of the fixtures that we need to keep an eye on are the Wigan Scunthorpe game. Could be a bit of a banana skin, potential banana skin for Wigan. Scunthorpe are fifth in the table. Wigan currently third. A loss there could open up the door for Blackburn and Shrewsbury. Meanwhile, speaking of Shrewsbury, they take on Walsall, who just got beat actually Tuesday night against Rochdale. Um, so you don't know which Walsall is going to show up. They currently find themselves 13th for the table. Uh, should be an easy win for Shrewsbury, but you never can tell. Meanwhile, Red Hot Rotherham, where are they at? They take on Rochdale and Plymouth, another team on fire. They go to Fleetwoods. Now, over the years, a number of players have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Blackpool. Here are three of them for you. Uh, look at this guy. Current Bradford City manager, Simon Grayson, with a full head of hair for Blackburn Rovers. Starting to lose it a little bit when he was donning the old tangerine shirt of Blackpool. Meanwhile, look at this guy, ex-skipper for both Blackburn and Blackpool, Barry Ferguson. He's currently wearing a monstrously sized shirt in the Blackburn picture, where he's wearing more of a skin-tight shirt in the Blackpool picture. As for, look at this guy, Luke Varney. Yes, he did play for Blackburn Rovers, believe it or not. And he also played for uh, Blackpool in his earlier days. If you want to check out a full list of all players that have played for Blackburn Rovers and Blackpool, head over to my WordPress site. Details in the description below. In fact, in that same website, you'll find the full lists of all the other teams in the division uh, for play players that have both played for Blackburn and all the others. Check it out. It's a good read. Now, you've heard a little bit what I've had to say about the match, what the fans been saying on social media. Well, to be honest with you, it's a little dry at the moment. People are not getting in the mood. But if you head over to the BRFCS forum, there are many, many folks talking about the match. Like this guy, Dally Dally, straight after the match against Wigan on Sunday. He wrote this, Wigan game is gone now. We, just, we need to move on. Next weekend gives us a great chance of three points against Boya and Co. My team will be the one that started today, minus Evans. Move Bennett back to midfield with Smallwood and put Payne left side with Dak in the middle and Armstrong to the right with all three behind Danny. We are due a to tonk someone. Next weekend will do. Meanwhile, Philip L should win, but Blackpool showing more spine after falling down the league to a brief flirtation with relegation. Bowyer's men won at Wigan recently. He's got a cracking point there. Uh, they have been on a great run. I just hope that run comes to an end, Ewood, and then they can continue up the merry table after that. Meanwhile, Tom Phil said this, another difficult derby, but winnable. And if we approach it like today, we'll be okay, especially after a week off. What we don't need is the gaffer getting the collie wobbles and going all technical because there's no need as the problem is we let in set pieces today, not goals from open play. So that needs to be the focus. Somehow I fear another draw though. Hopefully the team and crowd don't take the hangover from today's second half into this one. Yeah, I am just itching to get rowers back on the pitch to see if they can make amends for uh, for Sunday's game because the, the mood and the vibe. I was already planning my 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 post my post uh, Wigan uh, game video intro. I was I had it all planned out. It was going to be a belter, but we're never going to see that now because because of the result. So hopefully we can have a clean slate, go in a Blackpool, get the momentum, get the jive back, get another winning run going. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I don't like to say this, but hopefully other teams will slip up and we can get a bit of a bit of a vibe back and, and, and get our mojo back. Meanwhile, Green Rover, Scunthorpe to upset Wigan and draw, but I feel Shrewsbury will beat Warsaw and we will win, of course. Meanwhile, Tom said this, these are the bread and butter games. These are the must win ones that you build a promotion campaign on. Not expecting slip ups elsewhere, so we need to do our bit here and keep the pressure on. Blue boy, 3-3-3-3, three, 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 three. Blackpool last two aways, 1-2-0 at Wigan and 2-0 at Pompey. Never underestimate the genius of Sir GB. Meanwhile, Revenge Blue said TM stumbled upon a lineup and a formation against Walsall at home at the end of January, which worked really well and produced a resounding win, which, which off the top of my head has produced three points every other time we started it, Portsmouth and Wimbledon. And this was that team, Raya, Nayimbi, Mulgrew, Lennon and Williams, all Bell, Payne, Bennett, Smallwood, Armstrong, Graham, and Dak. Whenever he's deviated from that in an attempt to be more defensive, we've either failed to win or have squeaked home but struggled. 
Over to you, Tony. Please don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So that's some of the comments that are going on right here, right now on the BRFCS forum. If you want to check out that forum, there's a link in the description below. And while you're at it, if you want to express your own opinion about the game, about the fixtures, about the running, about anything in Blackburn Rovers, feel free to leave a comment in the video section below also. Now, it's not what I've got to say about the match. It's not really what the fans have got to say about the match. What really, really, really matters, especially this weekend, is what Cast the Cast thinks will happen this weekend between Blackburn Rovers and Blackpool. <laughs> all I've got for you today folks if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers I'm creeping and crawling to the big 1000 can you help me get closer this weekend I do appreciate all the support all the fans all the thumbs and all that kind of stuff uh, so please hit the subscribe button uh, I'm also on Twitter and Facebook if you want to check me out on the go links to those platforms in the description Below. So, so this weekend sees the return of one of my favourite managers, Mr. Plain Jane, Gary Bowyer. Yes, he wasn't Mr. Flashy Pants or anything like that, but he did steady the ship after that mess of a clown, uh, Steve Keane, with all his crazy Portuguese purchases and all these, and the, and the Bradley Oars and the, and the Danny Murphys. He came in, sorted the business out, got rid of all the crap in the Deadwood, and he brought in some wise buys in Rudy Gestead, Tom Kearney, uh, uh, ben Marshall and all that kind of stuff. So good quality boat purchases. He did, he did the business, steady ship, and it got so close to the playoffs. But this weekend, Gary, it's Blackburn Rovers duty once again. So whack the cap back on, take one for the team, give us all three points, and then hopefully you'll have a good rest of the season. Anyway, till next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. If you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe.